Oh, a big budget blow to METCO, the popular education program in Boston that was founded more than a half century ago. Right now, organizers are worried about the project's future. Well, the METCO program promotes opportunity and racial diversity. As WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer shows us, organizers had been hoping that Governor Healy would increase funding this year, not reduce it. It's not just a little less funding, it's half a million dollars less than what's currently being allocated to METCO. And advocates for the organization say they actually need more money, with the cost of everything seemingly on the rise. Everything costs more, and, and we, are, we are feeling it. METCO supporters are continuing their push for more funding today after lobbying at the State House on Tuesday. Hundreds of METCO alumni, METCO parents, METCO students, and just advocates for the program came together and talking about how $32.2 million is so important for their livelihood. The organization tells WBZ they need an additional $2.8 million in funding to support transportation and inflation costs. But right now, they're not getting that. This after Governor Healy's budget proposal failed to give METCO the $500,000 it received this fiscal year for its voluntary school integration program. Monies are not allocated to METCO. You don't have the busing, proper busing to get our our kids to um, home, back home, or to school from um, football practice, basketball practice. State Representative Christopher Worrell is the first state rep that's an alumni of METCO. I would not be in the place that I am right now if it wasn't because of METCO. He tells WBZ taking away that particular funding would mean METCO students wouldn't be as integrated in their communities. Taking away the busing for after school programs, that's critical. Wellesley METCO Director Karsten Cash says he hopes it doesn't come to that. We're hoping that there wouldn't be cuts. We're hoping that there wouldn't be fewer after school buses. But if there isn't more state funding, some of that inclusion work could be put on hold and other fundraising measures would need to be looked at. Call your elected officials, please. That was Jordan Jagelins are reporting.